The Area Monitor software can connect to the Area Monitors via USB and Ethernet. To connect to the software via Ethernet, you'll need to enter the IP address of the computer upon which the software is installed. To connect via USB, plug your area monitor into your computer, click Refresh Port List, and a list of the COM ports for you to connect to your area monitor will be available in the drop-down menu above. Under the View menu, you can access your floor plan and move any monitors to any rooms to the appropriate location. Radiation warnings will display in orange. Critical radiation alarms will display in red. To silence the alarm from your software, click Acknowledge. This will silence the alarm at the unit. On the floor plan, the icon of the corresponding area monitor will show the radiation warning as well. Each area monitor connected to the software has a view detail window. From here, you can control how you view the data, set custom ranges, set specific time windows, set how often you'd like the data to record, and export your data with specific time frames in the histogram. From the calibration and settings screen, you can change your high alarm, low alarm, and your fail alarm. From the calibration and settings screen, you can select your area monitor and click Update Fields. This will populate the fields with the settings of the area monitor that you selected from the drop-down menu. You can also select how you would like the alarm and the remote alarm to respond to various alert and warning levels. From this screen, you can change just about any setting on your Radiation Alert Area Monitor. To change a setting, click in the corresponding field, change it to the setting you want, and press Set. You'll then be prompted for a pass key. Enter your password and press OK. It's not recommended that you change the settings of high voltage, threshold, dead time, cal constant, or the serial number and description of the probe. These are all related to the calibration which was performed on the calibration date. For more information on calibration of your radiation area monitor, contact SE International at seintl.com. Located in the View menu, you can set up different alerts to be sent to different locations from the software. To configure an alert, press Configure an Alert Sender. By default, you have SE International's mail servers to use. So all you need to do to add a rule is click Add Rule, give it the title that you want, and select the area monitors that you're connected to that you want the alert to be sent from. Then select the different status, put it in the email address that you want it sent to, and then press Add Rule. You now have a tab at the top for every additional rule that you set. That last part was about setting up software alarms. This next part is about setting up hardware alarms. The difference is the software does not need to be connected to the area monitor to send an alert over the network. All it needs is an ethernet connection and access to the internet. To set up a hardware alert, go to View, Calibration and Settings. In the lower right hand corner of the Calibration and Settings window, Click the Hardware Alert Settings. You'll be prompted for a password. Enter your password and click OK. You'll now have access to setting up hardware alerts in the area monitor itself. Unlike the software alarms, you can only set up a single alert should a warning or critical radiation alert happen. However, you can send that alert to multiple email addresses. You can also send it to text using text SMS. For more information on sending text via text SMS, visit our website at seintl.com. You can also configure the hardware alert to use any internal SMTP server you choose to send out your email alerts. By default, the seintl.com email server 
is used to send out alerts should any warning or critical error occur.